Well, nearly a week ago, President Biden made a major announcement for millions of Americans who have student debt. And the plan is to forgive up to $10,000 in federal loans for people who make $125,000 a year or less. Well, now not every student is eligible for debt relief, as this only applies for federally owned student loans. So the big message this morning, be careful. It is the latest message from the Iowa Attorney General's Office and also the Better, Biz uh, Better Business Bureau of Iowa warning you to watch out for scams relating to student loan forgiveness. So Local 5's Cleo Maycock spoke with both organizations about the threat of scams and what you need to know to stay safe. You join us now live from Des Moines to share more. Good morning, Cleo. Good morning, and both organizations say they haven't yet heard of any potential scams here in Iowa, but BBB says they do believe some will be on their way, and they think they might be elaborate. After President Biden's announcement of student loan forgiveness, the Iowa Attorney General's office posted this message to their Facebook page, alerting Iowans to be aware of potential scams. We are trying to be proactive and warn consumers and student loan borrowers that you know scammers are out there and um, they can use this as an opportunity to try and get your personal and financial information. Ashley Keeler with the AG's office says so far they haven't received any complaints of scams, but she says consumers need to be aware. It's a message the Better Business Bureau serving Greater Iowa echoes. The president of that organization, Chris Coleman, says since student loan forgiveness has been a topic for years, he expects the scams that are coming will be elaborate. Not only have people had a chance to kind of prepare and figure out how can we best take advantage of the vulnerable, it's also a lot of money. You know, a lot of people are going to get $10,000 or $20,000 forgiven. So it's a big price tag for scam artists. They don't have to try and trick you out of $35 or $75. They're going to try and trick you out of ten grand. Things Keeler says people need to remember to be safe. Details of the loan forgiveness plan are preliminary. So it's not likely someone from the Department of Education will reach out to you at this time. If you want to know the latest information from the department, she says sign up for alerts at studentaid.gov. And if someone calls or texts you, never give out your personal information. Don't rush into anything. If somebody does contact you and they have uh, an air of an emergency in their voice, please take the time to confirm that the information you're getting is true. Back out here live, both organizations say if you are having a conversation with someone and they bring up the topic of paying to have those loans uh, forgiven, they say that's a telltale sign to know it is a scammer and to quickly end that conversation. Live in Des Moines, Quill Maycock, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Great information this morning, Khalil. Thank you very much. Now, before you apply for federal student loan forgiveness, make sure you meet the income criteria. Borrowers must make less than $125,000 a year, $250,000 for married couples. It is also important to know your loan type. It is not entirely clear if the commercially held federal family education loan will be included. Also keep relevant records handy and stay up to date with that process. And we understand there are still lots of questions about the president's student loan forgiveness plan. So Local 5 is on your side. What questions do you have about it? Well, simply text us. Text those questions to 515-457-1026, and we're going to get to work on finding out more details.